Hello everyone, it's Jackie. And for those of you that have listened to my blogs in the past, I just want to say hi. It's been a while since I've actually had an opportunity to um, do some uh, live blogging, but I want to say hello. And for those of you that don't know me and uh, have never seen any of my videos, I'd like to say hello to you. Some of you may be ready to face a surgery, as we all have on this site. And I know that there's probably a lot of questions that are going on in your mind. We all have them. Everybody goes to that little fear factor of what if. And we all have been in that position. For those of you that are just about to embark on this major event, I call it a life-changing event and a very serious surgery. I want to wish you all the best. You're not alone. I know that you're scared and I'm sure that everybody has tons of questions that they have not, um, they're not given answers by their doctor. Doctors are pretty textbook. I haven't found um, many that help you. The only thing that ever helped me really to get through what I went through with this is you, these, the groups. So I am so blessed that I was able to find you because at my time when I was ready to embark on my surgery, I had groups like this that I could ask these questions. People that have already experienced these series, you know, these series of events that we don't know. I, I, you're, you're going into this for the first time. You realize that there is a light. There is. For those of you that know me, I'm Jackie. And I have um, logged out for probably the last three years. And I've taken you all through my journey after my heart surgery. And uh, it's taken me three years to basically get back to where I need to be. But that's okay because I'm sitting here right now. And, and I'm able to be alive and say, oh, okay. It was, a, it was a, a battle. And I have my battle wounds to show for it. But guess what? Bam, I made it. We're, and you're all going to make it. Some of you may be down, feeling like life's not going to get better. I felt that way, but it will. I promise you it will. We have this experience in each of us and in each of us. And the one thing about it, it changes you. It, I promise. I have spoke to thousands of people through my blogging and my speaking. I do motivational speaking and talk to different people in heart groups and uh, um, the Heart Association, heart patients never come back the same. They just don't. You come, The thing about it is, it's a known fact that you were never, the heart was never meant to be touched by human hands. And so once it has been, and you've gone through this surgery that most people might never ever think about going through, you come back different. And for those of you heart warriors that have gone through this surgery, you know what I'm talking about. Your spouse might not understand you. I know mine doesn't. And I know that there's been a lot of change within my own relationship because of it. You're different. And I hope I'm better. Some people understand how I've changed and some people don't. But then again, everybody has the right to their own opinion. Because see, you experience something that I can't explain to a friend that has never been sick, somebody who has never even had a, um, a bump or a broken ankle. You can't explain this stuff. All they, they do, and, and I'll tell you what I didn't like is I found that some people I thought were my friends, my really close friends, kind of ran away when I was sick. You see, I didn't really just have surgery 
I had surgery, surgery, surgery. I kept going. It just didn't stop. But you think your friends would stick around to kind of help you out and pick you up. But I, I think in, in my case, I didn't. My, I kind of got nervous. I don't know whether it was wrong mortality they were afraid of facing or what it was, but I think some of my friends weren't around as much. But that's okay because they didn't know how to accept it or how to be part of it with us. Life changes. We have different things that we're going to have to do depending on the type of surgery. Now, see, I am, I had an aneurysm in my aorta. So I had uh, a mechanical valve and I had an aneurysm repair. So mine was quite serious because I have an artificial heart valve and a mechanism that has fixed my So hey, I tick like a clock, which I find funny. And I'm on blood thinners. And the blood thinner I'm on is called warfarin. It's Coumadin. That's a tough one. Some of you guys are lucky, and maybe you won't have to take that drug. But in my case, it's, you know, the, not my drug of choice, but it's the drug that's keeping me alive. So I take it. I have to watch my diet. I have to eat specifically greens. Could be my, my friend. Could be my enemy. But the thing about it is you adjust. You adjust to your new normal. That's what I call it, my new normal. And and so consequently, you know, you take the medication, you get your, your blood checked. Uh, right now, in my case, I'm getting my blood checked twice a year. I'm three years into my, oh, after my open heart, and I'm uh, getting my blood checked twice a week. The reason for that is I have started hormone therapy. And with hormone replacement, which I found out, happens to thicken your, your blood. So I, I, I went from a 2.2 on a Friday to a 1.6 on Tuesday. Big adjustment. Doesn't mean that the hormones are not, I'm not capable of having them. It just means now my formula has to be changed regularly so I go twice a week and and what they do is is check my blood and, and I have to be very narrow some of you are on a larger wider uh, INR spread but I am very tight I'm on a 2 to 2.5 ratio and that's because of all my hemorrhages so they've got me real tight and anytime I go one way or the other way, they have to readjust me. So that's okay. At least I don't hemorrhage out as much. For God's sake, I had seven. So I, it's it's okay. And and you just learn to deal with it. You learn to go with the flow, and you learn to say, okay, this is what it is, and and I am here, and um, I'm doing. You know, we're, we're alive. I, I saw. On the site, you know, today I saw some of you that are getting ready for your surgery, and and like myself, you're scared, and it's okay to be scared. I believe I had faith. My faith really got me through. He really did. I was scared out of my mind. I found out that I had uh, my problem. Well, I had a broken leg. How do you like that one? I broke my leg zip lining to find out I had a big aneurysm in my aorta with a calcified valve. Go figure. So I'm told after they admit me, I have all this going on. And I'm in pretty bad shape. But they sent me home for a month. Yeah, a month. Because you know why? They said I had a I couldn't get my cast off. My doctor was at the Mayo Clinic also. Said, nope, she has one more month to go before they would take my cast off. And they wouldn't operate. So guess what? They sent me home. Great. I had to go a whole month sitting there like a ticking bomb. I was scared. But as I said, um, I really had my faith that brought me through. I gave it up to God. 
You know, there, there are certain things in this world. Well, not certain. There's everything in this world we have no control over. So we, I let go. I, I, I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to go forward. I knew I had to be positive, and I did it. And I did it with my faith. I felt that if I was going to make it, I really wanted to. And if I didn't, I was ready. But you know what? The chances in today's society of all of us getting through this is 99.9. .9. So the odds are pretty good for us. Don't be afraid. I saw a few of the blogs that are the post of some of you getting ready. Go in there with a positive attitude. Go in there and just kick it. Become a heart warrior. Be proud. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of where you came from. And whatever it's going to take to get you back into this seat and feeling good again, do it. Don't give up no matter how bad it gets and it may get bad but then again you might be one of the lucky ones one of my friends believe it or not had open heart surgery and three weeks later he was building a deck in his front yard he had a bypass a triple bypass i couldn't believe it three weeks after my open heart surgery i couldn't get off the sofa so everybody heals at their own rate just be patient. Be patient, be positive, and have faith. I just wanted to say hi, and I'll talk to you soon. So you have a great day. I'm, I'm in rainy Florida right now, and we have had rain nonstop for about a week. But we're really happy because we haven't had any rain. We have been in the drought. So to have this much rain right now is kind of nice. I am very thankful that the people from up north send it to us. And believe it or not, I hope it stays with us for a while because I know the people up north, do, they're, they're having nice weather, which they deserve because they've had enough rain. But until I talk to you again, stay positive, guys. And go heart warriors. Have a nice day.